Hi. I would like to welcome you to the Radiologic Anatomy course. Today, you begin your journey through the anatomical structures of the human body on images, and I will guide you through the organs and walls of the thorax, abdomen, pelvis, and through the upper and lower limbs. So, let's begin. First of all, um, I want to introduce you this website, which is called IMA IOS. I'm going to use this uh, website for all my demonstrations. Where exactly we are? We are in e-anatomy session right here. And uh, we can see the different regions depicted here on this human body. And you can find whatever you want here. If we are uh, learning the thorax, you can click on the thorax and see the images available here. And the upper limb the same, the abdomen. The main images which we are going to use are the radiography, the simplest X-ray images, and the CT and MRI images. It's usually easy to recognize the X-ray image and no one have difficulties with that. You just see the absolutely radio-opaque bones and all the soft tissues are shadowed with some overlap. But when we look at the CTs and MRIs, sometimes you have some difficulties. So let's look at them again and make these differences clear from the very beginning. Well, you can see that the bone, which is right here in the middle, is absolutely bright. It's radio opaque as bright as it is on the X-ray image. And this is what's going to tell you, hey, I'm the CT image. Because CT uses the same um, X-rays as the um, X-ray image uh, does. That's why the soft tissues around are not so clear. They are all kind of grayish. You cannot differentiate the fatty layer clearly. It's just darker in color. You cannot see the tendons the layers of the muscles, vessels, but you definitely can see the bright uh, radio opaque bone. If we compare the CT with MRI, you immediately can see the difference. The muscles and layers of skin and superficial uh, fascia, which is this bright layer right here, they are clearly visible on the MRI images. And pay attention at the bone. The external, the dense layer of the bone is absolutely radiolucid. It's dark. It's opposite to the coloration on the CT images, right? And this is what um, supposed to take your attention and give you the answer. Is it CT or MRIs? Immediately, as soon as you see the bone and you see how uh, dark the outer uh, layer is, you know it is the MRI. And then you just pay attention at the structures around and confirm your decision by seeing the clear uh, layers and clear anatomy around. Radiologists are using three anatomical planes to obtain their images. And let's repeat them. The first one is the coronal plane. If you look at this blue line on my left, you can see where exactly the scanner is located right now. So as I scroll deeper, this line moves from the surface to the deep of the body. So we are looking at the uh, structures from front to back now. So this is the plane which is called the coronal plane. And you can see the organs of the thorax right now, the heart in the middle and right and left lungs on both sides, right? But we can change the view and we can go to the sagittal view. And this is your sagittal view. Now you see this blue line again and I am scrolling from the left to the right and I'm showing you the structures now, right? So these uh, kind of images, they are the sagittal images. Finally, we can look at the body from top down and this uh, anatomical plane is the transverse plane. In radiology, it is called the axial plane. 
the plane perpendicular to the reciprocal one. And we have one feature here. The radiologists, they obtain the lower images first. That's why when we read the image, everything that is on the right side of the body, as we look from uh, down up, everything that is on the right side appears on the left. So this is the other feature which we must be aware of. Um, the right side of the body appears on the left side of the image, and the left side of the body appears on the right side of the image. So, so just keep it in mind. Don't get confused. So, how exactly your studies will go? Uh, each region, the thorax, abdomen, pelvis, upper limb and lower limb, has some video lessons recorded for you. And you will watch the video and answer the quiz questions which will follow each piece of the video. To self-assess yourself, to check how well you understood everything that I explained. And in the end of uh, each region, you will find the uh, PowerPoint presentation with all the structures highlighted for you. And I would recommend you uh, to look at the slide without any labels first and check yourself again. Sternum, do you know where this bone is on this image? Try to find it. So challenge yourself. Try to identify all these structures and then check yourself because each second slide it has the labels and all the structures are labeled for you and in this way you can look through the structures and you will be able to check how well you um, understood the region okay so good luck with that and let's begin